I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give
You may be seated. Family and friends, we welcome all of you here today as we gather together in the presence of God to join Anna Cannon and Wyatt Moore in holy matrimony. In Matthew 19, 4, verse 5, Jesus said, Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them, male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two but one. Now when I met in council with the couple a few weeks ago, I told them I would make them make a proclamation because I only do weddings for people who believe in Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. So with that being said, Wyatt, before God and these witnesses, do you profess your love for the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Savior. I do. And Anna, before God and these witnesses, do you profess your love for the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? I do. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this day, thankful for the opportunity to breathe out this fresh air in and out of our lungs and to be in this open area, Father, to join such a beautiful couple together. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be present here today and that you would bring peace upon this couple as we move forward. We're thankful for your love and your guidance, and we give you praise, honor, and glory for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. We will now do our vows. Take hands. Y'all can look at each other if you'd like. Do you, Wyatt, take Anna to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and health, until death do you part? I do. And Anna, do you take Wyatt to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. First Corinthians talks about love. When I asked the couple why were they getting married, the obvious answer might be sitting in, in a little wagon coming in. But I told them that wasn't the reason why they needed to get married. My daughter as well has been down this path. And I asked her the same question when she asked if she could get married. When I asked this couple that question, they said it was because of love. And so we're here today, today because they love one another. In 1 Corinthians, we learn that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. May we have the rings, please. I'll have it. Listen, that oh, excuse me. She's going to run to the car. She's going to run to the car. Can we do it? Wait. Abby. Where's Abby? Ring. Give it. You have one. No, not that Abby. Other Abby. That Abby. Yes, you Abby. I thought we had this taken care of. I gave it to Katie. It'll be all right. <laughs> I understand. It just made it interesting. <laughs> I thought we were doing my other one. I figure we just improvise right now. You want to wait? I'll just get it over with. Ready to move forward? I'll talk about them and give them time. They're walking back toward the. They're probably not going to make it back. Let's just go ahead and. Let's just go ahead First and First decision it you got to do. All right. Yeah. So with this. Uh, this interesting issue here, we'll talk a little bit about what wedding rings are. They're an outward sign of an inward grace, an inward love. They represent the love that you show for your wife and that you show for your husband. And when you wear these rings, they're a sign for society that you are taking and that they should not cross those bounds. For you, they'll be a reminder when you look at your own finger when you're out and about that your eyes were made for another and that you've given yourself by your vows and your solemn oath that you will love them forever. 
You ready? Yeah. All right. Wyatt, please place a ring on Anna's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And Anna, if you'll place a ring on Wyatt's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. The Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Wyatt and Anna, since you have consented together in holy matrimony and have pledged yourselves to each other by your solemn vows and by the giving of rings and have declared your commitment of love before God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man separate. Wyatt, you may kiss your bride. Makeup on me. Sorry. And may the Lord bless and keep you and be gracious upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Wyatt Moore. I'm just going over here, and I'm sitting at my spot.
found a love for me well, Darling, just dive right in well, Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I